Well, you guys got another video. Microsoft justifies hardware requirements for Windows 11. So some people are probably hoping that Microsoft would ease the system requirements for Windows 11 so they could use their old computers to upgrade to Windows 11 and keep that old PC running. But Microsoft haven't changed their system requirements and don't plan to in the future because they've explained the reason in why the system requirements are what they are. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. And we're going to go through some of the questions that people have and some of the hate that comes towards Microsoft for the system requirements and try to answer some of those in this video. So first off, let's talk about the system requirements for the CPU, which is the eighth generation and above for Intel processors and AMD Zen Plus uh, 2000 series or newer. Now, before we continue, let's have a word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description. Use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. When you submit your order, they will send you your key. You'll be able to activate your version of Windows, just like you see on the screen right here. It's super easy to do. So back to the video, Microsoft did post this about trusted platform module in Windows 11. How does it work? So why is TPM so important for Windows 11? It protects your data. TPM can encrypt your data, making it difficult for hackers to access sensitive information. This is especially critical for things like personal details, financial data and confidential files. And also ensuring trusted software, TPM verifies the integrity of your system software and firmware this feature called Secure Boot that helps stop malicious software from launching during startup. Guards against physical tampering. If you're someone who tries to physical tamper with this device hardware, TPM can detect changes and prevent your system from booting, keeping your device secure from physical attacks. Also, the support of advanced security features. Many of Windows 11's powerful security features rely on TPM. These tools can help you keep your data safe even if the device is lost or stolen. So you're getting stronger security with TPM Windows 11, ensuring your integrity of your software, that your data stays encrypted. This is vital in today's world where cyber threats are more sophisticated than ever. So better user experience. I'm not so sure about this one. Along with security, Windows 11 brings hosts of new features designed to improve performance and usability. Now I've been using Windows 11 for quite a while since the beginning and 23H2 has been pretty rock solid and there's been some other previous builds that have been pretty solid as well. 24H2 on the other hand has been a complete train wreck and I just think you should avoid it like the plague. But that being said, where is all this hate coming from for Windows 11? And is it justified? Well, I think it comes from different sources. And that's what we're going to go through in this video as well. So a lot of it is from Linux users stirring the pot. And a lot of it is from people that have really old hardware like this one. And they feel a little bit let down by Microsoft because they can't upgrade to Windows 11 on that aging 20 year old computer. Some people can't upgrade the CPU and some people have a CPU which is maybe a 6th gen or a 5th gen or maybe one of the ones that aren't supported. But let's break it down and have a look. So the 7th gen core processors, which aren't supported, these are now eight years old. Now, maybe some people can't afford a new computer and maybe eight years old is not that old to some people. But in the IT industry, that is pretty old. And I can tell you right now, most people you talk to will say that needs to be upgraded and you need to build a new computer. So eight year old CPUs, you can see why Microsoft have changed their hardware requirements. Now, generally CPUs are upgraded every three to five years or when performance limitations start impacting your workflow. Some people like to hang on to five or eight years, which is quite a long time. It's way over the norm. So let's take a look at the sixth generation processors right here. These were released in 2015. That now makes these 10 years old. So I think a lot of people don't realize what Microsoft are trying to do with their operating system. So for many years, I think a lot of people used to laugh at the security of how to bypass Windows passwords, super easy. How to infect Windows was super easy. And unfortunately, when Microsoft fix a lot of this stuff and make it a little bit more tougher for people to be able to infiltrate Windows, people then start complaining. So here we have 
uh, you know, features for Windows 11. And yes, there's a lot of good features on Windows 11. Yes, there's also a lot of bloat on here, which people don't want. And of course, it they don't allow you to opt out. You have to jump for a bunch of hoops to get rid of them. A lot of them are recall. No one really wants this. But just remember, as it is right now, this is not on Windows 11. It's not going to be working and functioning on Windows 11. I've made videos about this before. People like Chris Titus Tech blew all this up and out of proportion. And really, I made a video explaining that it was only for MPU CPUs as it is today. You cannot get this running and activated and running on a Windows 11 on a normal Intel processor or AMD processor. Now, that's not to say that in the future they won't use it. And remember, you can turn it off. It's quite simple. So a lot of people get all disgruntled about a lot of this stuff, but it's just features that Microsoft test and try out. And if it works, they'll go with it. If it don't, they'll can it and scrap it. So I'm one of those people that just doesn't want recall on the system. And I'm also one of those people that don't like Copilot, and I don't want that on my system. And as it goes, I would love to uninstall Microsoft Edge. And there's a few other things I'd like to do as well, like changing that hideous start menu. And that's just got even more bigger and worse than it was before. And I can remember when Windows 10 was released and no one liked it and no one wanted to upgrade. And now everyone loves it and everyone wants to stay on it and they don't want to upgrade to Windows 11 because they hate Windows 11. So it's always been the same. People just don't like change. Now, there's a bunch of privacy security settings you have to go through and turn off manually. And people just would love to opt out a lot of this stuff. And unfortunately, that's just the way Windows 11 is. And some people worry about the telemetry side of things, but I think telemetry's always been there. And I don't think it's going to go anywhere anytime soon. The only other option you got is just don't use Windows operating systems and go and choose another operating system. But a lot of people that do complain will still continue to use Windows because there is no other alternative operating system out there that matches Windows 11 and matches what they're used to because they've been using Windows for so many years. So you will have to go through and uninstall a bunch of this stuff like I do. And that's just basically what you have to do with Windows 11. But once you've got your settings backed up, like I've showed you before, you can do all this in group policy. And once you back those up, it literally takes seconds to do. You don't have to use no dodgy scripts off the internet. You don't need no custom ISOs. You don't need any of that stuff. And just get it the way you want it, and it should be perfectly fine. Now, people are hanging on and looking at Windows 10 stats and Windows 11 stats and seeing that Windows 10 was way in front and no one was using Windows 11. But if you look at it right now, you can see Windows 10 is on the decline. And that's because people are knowing that it's coming to end of life. A lot of businesses are starting to make the shift over to Windows 11. And again, Windows 11 now is climbing quite rapidly. And this will gather pace over the next few months. You'll see Windows 10 decline and go below Windows 11 eventually. It's just the way it's always been. And there's a few people hanging on to Windows 7 and there's a few people hanging on to Windows XP there. Linux is way, way down there. Uh, they've actually lost users as they always do. They gain a few and they lose a few. It's always been the same for Linux. It never really changes too much. Now, the weird thing is the hate towards Microsoft is coming from people that are actually also using Windows on a daily basis. Even Linux users will still use Windows because they can't do without it. So I just don't understand why spending all this time hating on something that you use every day. And I will say that once you get everything the way you want it, Windows 11 is not that bad, in all honesty. Call me a Microsoft shill as much as you like. It really don't affect me. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.